Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMJ Let's Play. Today we are back with Detective Inaba. So I was actually going to wait to play this a little bit later since I didn't want to play too many RPG Maker games at once, but I gotta play this game. I love the first one, I want to know what the second one's about, so we're just going to dive into it. We're going to have a few weeks where we're just RPG Makering it up. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. Um, man, I love the first one though. This game contains violent elements and a uh, fast screen. Stop. Okay. We're good. We're done. Thank you guys for watching. No, who's saying stop? That hurts. Okay. Someone, please. Their big brother. Why would I want to skip text? Heck no. Mm. Azusa, it's time to wake up. Aoi? It's already 8 o'clock in the morning. Breakfast is waning. It's 8 already? It's strange for you to sleep in so late, big brother. I just stayed up a little too late last night. That's all. I'll be done shortly, so go on ahead without me, Ollie. If you say so, but don't take too long, okay? Don't worry about me. I'll be down just as soon as I change out of my pajamas. It looks like you're wearing a collared shirt and a sweater, to be honest with you. You have some very classy pajamas. I guess it's time for me to head downstairs. Okay, um, I think everything's the same. I hope. Okay. December 10th? The text scrolls way too fast. Scroll, uh, clothes stored inside, full of textbooks and novels. It's a book I borrowed from Tsubaki the other day. I need to give it back to him later. Okay. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to everybody too. Akana will yell at me if I don't clean this mess up soon. What is that? Is that like a column? It's a mirror. It does not look at like a mirror to me. I hate looking at mirrors. Does that look like a mirror? It looks like a column with a stairwell at the bottom. Whatever. If you say it's a mirror, then I'm going to believe you. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, an expensive vase is placed here. Hello, blue haired maid. Oh, young master Azusa. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Miss Sasamoto. Looks like it's yet another day where the bags under your eyes aren't being very nice to you. I yes, m my apologies. Hey, no need to apologize for your insomnia. Did you remember to take your sleeping pills last night? Huh? Uh, oh, yes, indeed. I don't know how you do it, but it's like you know me better than I know myself, young master. People watching is kind of a hobby of mine. Is that so? Yep, and before I go, you shouldn't uh, keep the fact that you broke the plate yesterday a secret from Mr. Ishihara any longer. Y yeah, you, you knew? But how? I see everything. Aw, oh, fine. I'll report it to Mr. Ishihara straight away, sir. That'd be for the best. Stop breaking my stuff! It's probably not my stuff. It's a grand piano. That chandelier looks like it wants to kill me. I've been playing too many horror games. Uh, I should really get going to the dining room. If only I could find out where it was. We have an elevator. Oh my god. Well, I mean, we have a maid. So I guess they, they go hand in hand, right? Elevator, maid. It's pretty much essential um, that they two, the two go together. Where is the dining room? Hallway leads to dad's room. Okay. Here? No. Here? No. Here. Third floor and first floor? Okay. We're going down to the first floor, apparently. Hi. Good uh, Good morning glory to you, young master Azusa. Good morning to you too, Mr. Kurita. Are you going to be doing some gardening today? I am. Not only do I have my hands full with prepping the front yard for the coming spring, but I've also got plans for planting some cherry trees in the backyard. M more cherry trees? Do we even have room for them? Sure do. I hope you're looking forward to it. So don't get too many in... Get too in patience, sir. Alright, I won't. Whatever that is, probably impatient, but you know, hey, whatever. Speaking of cherry trees, do you know what cherry blossoms mean? In the language of flowers, that is. It means spiritual beauty and elegant lady. And the meaning also changes depending on the variety. The wild cherry ones mean smiling for you, while the village cherry ones mean broad knowledge among us. Uh, yeah, that's impressive. Uh, you know what? You should really let Sakura know about this, considering her name is Japanese for a cherry blossom and all. I must really get going. Breakfast is waiting. Wait, young master, I wasn't done to- Ah, oh, jeez. Once you bring up anything about flowers with Mr. Kurita, he will literally talk your ear off. It's just best to distract him and make a run for it. <laughs> oh, like a flower! And you just run away. We have a fountain. Wow. 
I guess this is the dining room. You are strangely proportioned. Like, you remind me of the Goomba from the Mario Brothers movie, which isn't a good, it's not a good look. You may want to get those shoulder pads out and your neck retracted into your body a little bit. But anyways, I'm not here to judge. A good morning to you, ma young Master Azusa. Good morning, Mr. Ishihara. What's for breakfast today? I have prepared some scrambled eggs and bacon with freshly baked toast, croissants and butter rolls, along with some assorted fruits and yogurt. How can anyone eat that much food first thing in the morning? I understand your sentiments, sir. I will reconsider tomorrow's breakfast menu then. Sounds good to me. Alright, well, you, you are very tall, too. My god, you're like a whole head above me. How many family members do I have? Good morning, Mom. Oh, good morning, Azusa. We were all waiting for you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you all wait. Don't worry, dear. It's okay. One of us is gonna die soon. Probably. Good morning, Azusa. Good morning to you, too. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been since all of us have had a chance to eat breakfast together like this. Sakura. Are you aware of the real reason why Natsume came back home after all this time? Mm, because he loves and misses his family so dearly? Never change, big sister. It's to discuss a will, right? Am I, am, I, am I hitting it on the nose? Probably not. Way to be late, Azusa. Sorry, Akane. I absolutely hate it when people force me to wait for them. I'll be more considerate next time. You better. While you're wasting my time sleeping away, Tsubaki and the others have been doing nothing but arguing over who's the rightful heir of the family inheritance. Called it! It's a will debate. A will debate? <laughs> Sounds like an animal. Honestly, what makes people think that the inheritance is theirs to begin with? Aren't you also fighting for the same thing, Akane? Seriously? Is that even a question? That irresponsible idiot Natsumi would only run our entire estate into the ground. Then we have Sakura. You honestly can't think that Dits would fare much better. And don't get me started on Tsubaki. Sure, he's better than the others and wants what's best for the estate, but his methods are utterly incomprehensible. Only I am fit to inherit Dad's business. <laughs> cool, good talk. Also, it's probably okay that our uh, Goomba friend made so much food, because there's a lot of us here. You finally made it, big brother. Yeah, sorry for making you go, th go through all that trouble to wake me, Aoi. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I also like that Aoi means blue and she's wearing like a blue outfit and blue ribbons. Everyone was waiting for so long that they said they'll just wake uh, just start breakfast without you. And that's why I want to wake you up. If it was up to me, I would let you sleep in as long as you want because I love you so much. Don't die, Aoi. I is that so? I'm glad she woke me up. Okay, and there's people on the other side. Hello? Hey, uh, morning, Azusa. Hi. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Um, uh, I'm your big brother's fiance, so the least you could do is open up a little. I don't care, you're still a stranger to me. My, aren't you a friendly one? Cool, bye. Hey, Azusa, my little man. You have some nerve coming back home, Natsume. Eh, yeah, that's harsh. I'm the firstborn son of this family. Isn't that reason enough to come back? Wait, do I need to give him a more like... <clears throat> and once our old man finally kicks the bucket, you know what that means. The entire estate's gonna be mine. All mine. There we go. I think that's more fitting than like a... Ridiculous voice. They're both ridiculous. How rare of you to sleep in so late, Hatsusa. I don't remember half of these voices, just so you know. I only stayed up late, uh, I only stayed up all night reading through that book you loaned me, Tsubaki. Ah, oh, right. And here I thought you were doing anything to avoid being in the same room as Natsume. That sounds more like something you would do. <laughs> That's hardly a secret. That coward ran away. And once he heard that father's health is deteriorating, he wants to swoop back in like a vulture and take it all for himself. He even went so far as to bring a woman with him, claiming she's his fiance or whatever nonsense. Not even a shred of shame. The nerve of him. Don't get too worked up. There's no way Dad would leave his inheritance to Natsume. No one has worked nearly half a there no one has worked for nearly as hard for our family's business as you have, Tsubaki. Of course, you're right. But just thinking about how a firstborn son can become such a despicable caitiff makes me want to vomit. Caitiff? Azusa, I believe it's time we eat. Please, go sit down. Yes, Mom. You can Google it later. 
This is a splendid breakfast. Now everyone, let's eat. Thank you for the meal. Huh? Where the heck is the old man? Isn't he supposed to be eating here with us all? You certainly wouldn't know what with running away eight years ago, but father's been eating meals in his room for the past three years. Seriously, man? Why? We don't know why. Then we should ex uh, should we expect his highness to come out of his hidey hold, get us breakfast? After we finish eating, Mr. Ishihara and Shigure take the food to his room personally. Wow, sounds like a pain. Speaking of pains, Natsume, how long are you going to plan? <laughs> how long are you planning on staying here? Huh? It's my house, isn't it? I plan on staying here forever. <sighs> Don't get too comfortable. Dad can always change his mind until the day he dies, you know. <laughs> I think I'm pretty cushy from where I'm standing, Akane. As expected from a dirty scumbag like you, Natsume. Say that again. I dare you. Is that any way to speak to your older brother? Natsume, we'll treat you like a proper older brother when you start acting like one. My, aren't we feeling cheeky today, young master Tsubaki. Tch. Quit it. This is making all of us look ugly. He's right, guys. We shouldn't fight like this. <laughs> now, now. I trust everyone had a good breakfast. Mr. Ishihara, Miss Sasamoto, would you both please tidy up the table? As you wish, madam. S certainly madam. Now then, Sasamoto and I will take our leave to Master Udindo's er, quarters to deliver his breakfast. Yes, please do. If you'll excuse us. Well then, I must go make some preparations. We are expecting some company later today. Children, you are all free to continue about your business. I don't have any plans at the moment, so I guess I'll head back to my bedroom. Wee! Okay. Hi, everyone. I need to go back to my room and freshen up my makeup. Maybe I should go shopping today and spoil my princess, Yuki. Be like, that's not her name. I don't know why everyone was yelling back and forth at each other, but I'm very happy to be able to eat tasty food with my brothers and sisters again. Oh, well, at least you're optimistic, right? Uh, okay, so we still can't explore. We have to go straight back to our bedroom. What the? It sounded like he came from Dad's room. Dad's room was over here? Whoa, okay. Huh? Uh, uh, Master Mindo, this can't be happening. Dad, no, it can't be. Don't look, young Master Azusa. S Sasamoto, Le leave this room at once. I'll take the little master with me. Yes, sir. Sorry, I got a little tongue twisted there. What was that scream earlier? Did something happen? Uh, master Rindo, he... Master Rindo is no longer with us. He hanged himself. Huh? You can't be serious. What kind of sick joke is this? Why? Uh, no, please, no. Mother? Madam, are you alright? Sasamodo, watch over Madam Nadeshko. I'll go contact the authorities at once. Y yes, sir. Allow me to help you, Shigure. Mr. Ishihara. After you call the authorities, I want you to watch over father's room and ensure it is preserved until they arrive. Leave it to me, Mr. Tsubaki. I ask everyone not to approach Master Rindo's room in the meantime. Ah! What would have possessed the old man up and take his life like that? Uh, Asasa, uh, I'm scared. It's gonna be okay, Aoi. I'm here with you. How about we go downstairs in the dining room? I'll go fetch you a cup of warm milk. That should help calm you down. Okay. Um, anybody else? Dad, why? Ah, <sighs> just as I come back home, all this has to go down. Talk about the worst timing in the universe. Y he's really gone? Uh-huh. And you did it! The atmosphere sure has gotten pretty heavy. Eh, you know, it's what happens when someone dies. How could this have happened? Um, okay, milk. We're gonna get a glass of milk. 
and discover another body. I have alerted the authorities. I advise that the young master and the young miss please do not enter your father's room. We're not. We're going to eat uh, dinner or drink milk, actually. Here you go. Some more milk. Th thank you, big brother. Mom was also in a state of shock. I hope she, too, is doing all right. Who could that be? Could it be the police? It couldn't be. Not this early. Wait, I do remember Mom mentioning she had some guests arriving here back at breakfast. It must be them. I'll be right back, Ollie. Okay, answer the front door. Is it here? Oh, hi! What a huge mansion! Anyone else getting a feeling of deja vu? It's just a coincidence, I assure you. Oh, I love this. It's nice to meet you. Yay! And that's when I met him. Hello, we're from the Inaba Detective Bureau. We will be here, uh, we will stop at nothing until the job's done. We received the request for an investigation. Again, with the blatant propaganda. J just to be clear here, I don't work at the Bureau. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. A Detective Bureau? That's right, I'm Detective Inaba's assistant, Nina Arimura, at your service. We are here, uh, per the request of Mrs. Nadeshiko Sasaki. She hired us to look into an extramarital affair. And I am Detective Sogo Inaba. Uh, you're already well aware who I am, Azusa. And I am Mrs. Sasaki's doctor, Seiya Haruma. Or Harima, sorry. Azusa, if possible, I'd like Detective Inaba here to speak with your mother as soon as we are able. M my mom... She's... Azusa, who is at the door? Tsubaki, these are the people from the detective bureau. It seems mom had sent out a request or something? Why would mother call for a detective? Good afternoon. Would you kindly show me to where I may find Miss Sasaki? Mother is currently resting in her room. We're having a bit of a quandary at the moment. Oh, that doesn't sound good. My dad, he committed suicide. Azusa, you didn't need... How awful. I can't believe Mr. Sasaki would... Dr. Harima, do you also know our father? I yes, along with your mother. Your father was also my patient many times before. Well now, it seems our infidelity investigation came to an end before it began. Y you're right. It's taken a sudden dark turn. For the time being, may I go check with Miss Sasaki as her doctor and uh, to see her current condition? Of course, by all means. If you'll excuse me, it's best that I don't keep her waiting. May I ask both of you to wait here? One of our domestic helpers will be by to assist you shortly. Understood. Should we just go home, Mr. Inaba? Hard to say for now, Arimura. If the authorities have already been contacted, then they should be able to handle this case in short order. Are you sure about that? Oh? I doubt my dad committed suicide. And what would make you say that? Uh, what is your name again? It's Azusa. I'm the third son of the Sasaki family. So, Azusa, could you please explain what you meant by your last comment? It's just that I have five brothers and sisters, and my dad's quite wealthy. So, for the past few days, my brothers and sisters have been doing nothing but arguing constantly over who will be the inheritor of this fortune. I see. So you're suspecting that one of them could have planned to kill him in order to secure themselves in this in, in his inter inheritance. Oh my god. Yeah, my dad would never have considered committing suicide. He's not that kind of person. Then what you're saying is it was made to look like a... Mr. Inaba, Miss Arimuna, s sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, h hello. H how do you do? I'm Sasamoto, the housekeeper. I want to thank you for taking the time to come all this way. We're doing just fine. Don't worry about it. What are uh, what we really want to know is if Miss Sasaki is doing all right. She's doing well. Thank you for asking, ma'am. We are extremely thankful that Dr. Harima came today. He's been a huge help with Madame Nadeshko. I'm glad to hear it. Also, the madam wishes to speak with you two most urgently. Oh, would that be all right? Yes, she insists. I'll take you to her. Please come this way. I'll come with you. Oh, nope, you're not Inaba, because the two would be Inaba. My bad. 
I'm gonna get so many characters confused. <laughs> I'll come with you. I also don't know how mom's faring. I understand. You are welcome to join us, young master. Okay. Whew. So much has happened in such a short period of time. Uh, where's mom's room? Uh, second floor, right hand side. So is it across from dad's room? Here? Apparently. Madam, I present to you, or who, uh, this is, okay, this is Sasamoto. Madam, I present to you Mr. Inaba and Miss Arimura of Inaba Detective Bureau. Please, come in. You must be Detective Inaba, yes? First, please let me thank you for coming in today. I'm Nadeshiko Sasaki. Did I say Sasaki or Sakaki? I don't remember anymore. I'm terribly sorry we couldn't have met under better circumstances. It is a pleasure to meet you as well. I am Sogo Inaba. Our condolences to you and your family. And I'm his assistant, Nina Arimura. If there's anything we can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. You have my gratitude. You know, according to Dr. Harima, the two of you make quite the pair. Did he, uh, I mean, we're nothing special. <laughs> Yet your face is all too telling of how pleased you are. And that is the reason why I summoned both of you. I have a request to ask. A request? Is this still regarding the extramarital affair you wanted us to look into earlier, ma'am? Because it's already, you know... No. That issue is best left alone now. Instead, I ask for you to investigate the circumstances of my husband's death. The circumstances of your husband's death? I do not believe for a moment that my rindo ended his own life. Hmm... Even if it does not come to light that he did, if it does come to light that he did indeed take his life with his own hands, I must know the reason why. I accept your request, ma'am. I will investigate this matter to the best of my abilities. I appreciate your help, Detective Inaba. I will make sure that my children and domestic helpers know that the both of you are allowed complete access of my mansion. Thank you for your assistance. Now then, we have a new case. Let us begin without delay, Arimura. Right behind you, Mr. Inaba. If it's not too much trouble, may I join you as well? Hmm? This mansion is quite huge, so you probably need someone like me to help you show around. Uh, show you around the place. If that is the case, then I... I can handle this, Miss Sasamoto. More importantly, could you do me a favor? I'd feel much better if you could watch out over Aoi in the dining room for me. I don't want her to be by herself. As you wish, young master. Now then... Shall we begin, Mr. Investigator? Right. Oh, we can just do whatever, huh? I know we have already seen each other, but allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is Tsubaki, the second son of the Sakaki family. Hello, it's very nice to meet you too. So you're the second son of the family. I take it you have an older brother. I notice he isn't present here. Not surprising. He's someone I cannot fathom being related to by blood. It seems this older brother isn't popular. Kind of like you, Mr. Inaba. And just what are you implying? Let me put it like this. Aside from myself and Dr. Harima, can you name any other friends you have? I went a bit too far, didn't I? Apologies are not payment enough for your words. Aww, it's okay. It appears Miss Sasaki has calmed down considerably. She should be just fine with the company of her family. I'm glad to hear it. Hmm. Then would you mind assisting us with this case, Dr. Harima? Huh? You want my help? Precisely. Your expertise may be needed. If you say so, then I'll come along. Sweet. Nice to meet you. I'm Sakura, the oldest daughter of the Sakaki family. Mr. Inaba, Miss Arimura, thank you for watching over little Asusa. Sakura, please don't treat me like a kid. Wow, she's so mature and ladylike, Mr. Inaba. Indeed, you could learn a little from her, Arimura. Actually, scratch that. You might be a lost cause. Mr. Inaba, that's a low blow. Okay, do we need to talk to you? Thank you for taking my request, Mr. Inaba. Nope, okay. All right. I'll explain each room as you enter them. Also, while you're at it, please introduce yourself to the rest of the family members and helpers. Okay, you can bring up a map. Sweet. That's actually really handy. The door leads to my dad's room. 
Let me show you around the mansion first before you start your investigation. But I want to investigate! Alright, fine. This is my bedroom. There's really not much to it, so knock yourself out searching around, I guess? Oh, I love this music! At this point, I see no reason to search his closet. There are plenty of textbooks here, as well as novels. Is it a mirror? It's a mirror, but it's being obscured by a hanging cloth. Oh, that's what it is. I gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. This is the bathroom for the Sakaki family. I want to investigate it, please. This room belongs to the first son of the Sakaki family, Natsume. This room has always been empty oh, uh, ever since Natsume ran away from home a while ago. The only reason why he's home now is due to the family's inheritance. An uh, electric guitar is sitting on the floor. Judging from the dust accumulated on it, it has not been used in quite some time. Rather impressive speaker system. There are plenty of business books and books related to music. Oh, hi! Aren't you two whatchamacallits? Oh yeah, I recall now. My mom mentioned hiring some detective and assistant. That's right, I'm the assistant, Nina Arimura. And this here is Detective Sogo Inaba. How do you do? No way, you're like a real, real detective? Words right out of my mouth, babe. It's like we're living in some kind of pulp fiction right now. Out with it, who done it, detective? Don't be ridiculous. What the hell? What kind of lackluster answer is that? No kidding, nothing at all like live TV. These two. Don't let them get to you, Mr. Inaba. Th that turned out uh, about as well as I expected. Oh, come on, let's search this closet right in front of him. No? This room belongs to the second son of the Sas Sakaki family. I don't know why I keep doing Sasa Sasaki. Sakaki family, Tsubaki. Tsubaki has dedicated himself to assisting my dad with his work on a daily basis. He is by far the top candidate for inheriting dad's legacy. And he's not shy about it either. Knowing there's a slight chance it could go to anyone has been f a fair source of anxiety for Tsubaki. Especially when it comes to Natsume, the oldest son of the family in particular. Okay, he's not here. Outdoor coats hanging on the garment rack. Work documents visible on the monitor. Small television. Uh, various goods. Okay, how about if there's any of bads? Sorry. There are plenty of business books and novels here. Um, okay, this room belongs to the first daughter of the Sakaki family, Sakura. Sakura doesn't really have any desire to assist with the family business, nor shows any interest in the inheritance. Instead, she spends her time with mom and helping her out when she can. Vanity table. Plenty of novels. Ooh, a treasure chest! Aw, I want to open the treasure chest. It's gotta be something good in there, right? Uh, I guess we'll go this way? This is where the two guest bedrooms are. One of them is currently being occupied by my older brother Natsume's fiance, Miss Shimizu. Which, she's in the room with Natsume right now. So we can look, but there's nothing here. Uh, okay, so this is her room. Got it. Anything else? No? Okay. Painting of a beautiful landscape decorates this wall. It sure is beautiful. What's down here? This is the bar. Okay, this place is huge. There are only bottles of the most exquisite wine lined up here. Plates and salt and pepper or something. I don't know what it is. This room belongs to the second daughter of the Sakaki family, Akane. Akane works hard to help dad out with the family business. Therefore, she thinks she's the most optimal candidate to succeed dad. Not to mention her fixation on the family fortune is bordering on obsession. Hello? Huh? Who are these people? Uh, hello. We're from the Inaba Detective Bureau. This is Detective Sogo Inaba, and I'm his assistant, Nina Ariu- What? Detectives? Well, I suppose Mom did mention earlier about you two. Still doesn't explain why you're walking around as if you own the place. Mom wants to know for sure what happened to Dad. Therefore, she requested this detective so we can know the truth. Are you serious, Asusa? What the heck is Mom thinking? What will knowing this truth or whatever change? Nothing. That's what. 
Obsessing over every little detail won't change the fact that Dad's dead. Mom's just trying to think of things from every angle. Uh, whatever, I'm so over this. You might not realize it yet, detective, but you're uh, going to be seeing some real fireworks in this mansion. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks for the tip. All right, plenty of novels, okay. All right, I think we're good. Let's go check this one last room here. This room belongs to the third daughter of the Sakaki family, Aoi. In case you're wondering, Aoi and I have no claim to our family business or fortune. Besides, my dad would never leave this entire estate to a child. Oh, look, everything's blue. I knew it. Great school books, okay. No reason to search. I need a table. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Oh my god, it's so good to be back! It's terrible that there's been another murder, but it's so good to be back, so we'll definitely be continuing this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.